Hi there, welcome back to James and James Podcast, where you got all your professional news here. And today, one of the first things we're going to talk about is AEW. And what do you got for us today on AEW? <laughs> like, like, in the reins and the mic and the paw human. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when we, we stand there in the ring and, and it just goes. <laughs> but I can't give you the mic, it's, uh, it's tethered. Maybe, 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 well, maybe you should do it. <laughs> next time, next time. <laughs> So what do you got for us today? So there was nothing really happened on a uh, on a uh, dynamite this past week except for one thing. It was that uh, Fast and Anywhere match with uh, Chris Jericho and uh, Roger Strong. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. I remember watching that. And one. that was a uh, pretty good match. I mean, right off the bat, things started pretty good, which is pretty good for the match to start out. Because uh, I think from the mistake, it was before the bell uh, when Strong attacked uh, Chris Jericho from behind in the ring. Which I think yeah, that, was, that was before the bell ring, I think. Yeah, it was. It was before. Because uh, his jacket was so long. <laughs> yeah, he was still trying to take his jacket off. He went, he, like, he took it off like this or something, and then, but then, what's your name, attacked him again, and he wasn't able to take it off for a while. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, he, he, he went up in a corner, right? He was all like, attacking him, and his jacket was all falling off. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, thing, that was actually pretty good for a start in the match. Uh, kind of how the match might like, be good. And the thing I noticed was there was a lot of chest slaps. A lot. Yes, of and them. there were, uh, like, as the match went on, uh, Strong chest was more red than, Je- than like, Jericho's. Yeah, I mean, and Jericho's was red too, like you said, but the other guy was redder. I'm like, strong, like yeah. oh, right here. It's fucking just red. Yeah, his peck area, like, both pecs were all red. Oh, like, God dang. I mean, can you imagine afterwards? How? How? You know, <laughs> like, like, I said something to touch. <laughs> he goes, You hit me too hard. You might tell him like that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, and then they uh, they went up the stairs. Yeah, that was like the first like uh, out of the ring thing. Yeah, they did. So they uh, went upstairs and they were finding the hallway, and they had a lot of security there. But the stairs, I think, kind of like gives me anxiety because those are small steps, especially when they're slippery. Because I think it was uh, uh, Shivani said that on the beer soda like, like falls on there. Yeah, because um, you know, it's very slippery, risky to do that up, up there, and to do a move. And what were, okay in the hallway though before we got to the stairs they went to the hallway what was one of your favorite parts about the hallway? It's probably like the most little thing when they got the uh, the, uh, the ice cream soft ice cream soft yeah ice cream. the ice cream I was that was one of my favorite thing too because he got it and he threw it on Jericho's face yeah right? he had the soft ice cream he threw it on Jericho's face then he got a handful of the soft ice cream and <laughs> <laughs> it was like it's break time <laughs> so I thought that was pretty neat uh, especially like but. Did you notice when, what was his other guy's name? Uh, Strong's. Strong's. And that uh, he grabbed the trash can. Oh, no, it was, it was, it was I think, spoons or something. Yeah, and the commentary said, like, knives, but it was, like, plastic spoons. And and he threw them at, at uh, Jericho, and Jericho's all like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, dude, they're plastic. They're spoons. <laughs> they're plastic. They're, they're plastic and they're spoons. <laughs> and what, what is this, the NBA? We have to fake all these injuries all the time? And LeBron. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, come on, guys. Even if, if plastic small trash can he throw at him, he was like, oh, like he broke his leg or something. <laughs> but I guess they had to make it more interesting on that. But the hallway was, was pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, they went everywhere in the hallway. Uh, it was pretty cool like, for the fans to be there. And because uh, there was... They're walking in a hallway. Uh, I think Strong was dragging Jericho across the hallway, and you can see a whole wave of people just following a big wave of people. Yeah, there was. You're right. There was a lot of that. And I don't know if you saw this, but you know how they had the security backing up people, right? Yeah. I don't know if you saw this, but there was a cameraman behind, and he tried to get closer, and the the, the security guard just like pushed him back. <laughs> didn't know that it was the cameraman, <laughs> and to look back, oh shit, like, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> And the cameraman's all like, what's and going on? while Strong was uh, dragging Jericho through the hallway, I think it was the deputy, right, was uh, watching. He was all smiling. Yeah, he was all, this is, cool. this is cool. I like this. I was surprised that I was falling out like. <laughs> and that would have been the next thing. His boss would be like, were you recording the fight? Oh, no. He's supposed to be watching now. <laughs> yeah, they, but you're right. He was enjoying that. But that was a pretty good, you know, just throughout the hallway, the stairs, all that, I thought was pretty nice. And then they go outside, and then we get this. No, no, that was like, <clears throat> before that, the uh, strong threw Jericho into the stairway. That's right, yes. And yes. Um, he, he threw him over a ledge, which was something there to block it. It was, it was like from the wall. But I thought he was going to fall all the way down, because I didn't see the ledge at first. 
that, that little um, step thing. Like the step rails, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you, were, you thought he was going to fall down in yeah, there? Yeah, because I, I didn't see that, that platform that was there. Oh, okay. To block the... You were like, oh my God. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for the first time, I was like, I didn't see that, that platform right there. So when he threw him over, you were like, oh man, <laughs> he's going to die. And like the, the commentary is like, I think it was Shivani or uh, Excalibur. <laughs> He was like, oh, no, he's a fall. Like, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it, was, it was like you too then. <laughs> and uh, when they were doing the slaps in there, you can hear the, the echo. Yeah, you could. Think, that's how hard they're hitting. Because in the ring, you know, there's always some guy out there in the, in the production doing the little slaps every time somebody hits. Yeah. do like some little click. But outside, yeah, I mean, the hallway and all that, you weren't able to do that. But it was, like you said, it was the actual slaps and hits of that. And then uh, they, when they, get, they go inside. Ah, and they yeah. go on a little like a uh, uh, grassling. Yes, and uh, that, that was when um, what's his name? Uh, Adam Cole came out. Adam Cole, yes, you're right. He came out and he helped them out. Um, cause uh, did he kick him? Yeah, he did. But but um, cause he was banned from the from the arena inside. Oh, because so uh, he was Jericho's outside. Crew was also banned from the inside, but not the outside. So Cole came out and helped uh, Strong out. And then they uh, hit this move on him. I think it was in the knee. Um, and I hope Strong win. Yeah, it did. Yeah, because Jericho was out. Yeah. You know? And you're right. He took the win. And I, I thought it was pretty cool outside. And that was like the old WWE ways that we yeah, used to do it. Yeah, uh, because they, they would go like to the streets, right? The, the city streets. Yeah. And it goes to like the bars, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they did some of the bars. They did some of the groceries. Yeah, because they, they, they would actually go to the city streets and go out there and go to the stores. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. But but this was like the one they do outside the ring. I mean, outside the, the arena, yeah. which was pretty cool. Uh, I know WWE one time did with, uh, what's Cody Rhodes' brother? Dustin. D- Dustin. Dust, the Dustin? Yeah, the gold, Dustin. Where we used to be Gold Dustin Dust. Rhodes. Yeah, he, he did an, um, a, a street fight outside the arena. And they were all outside. They even drove a car, hit him with the car. I think they hit him with the car or something. And they give, they really got into it. So this kind of remind me of that era right there when, when they had, they're in the hallway and then going outside. I wish they would have gotten a little bit more done more outside, but it was good overall what yeah. they did. So I like that. Uh, all right. So what's going on with SmackDown now? All right, we had a thing with the, the bloodline um, oh, yeah. in the beginning of the SmackDown, though. Uh, where uh, Roman Reigns and his crew uh, were, were going to call out uh, Sammy and uh, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, they call him out. Well, no, they don't even call him out. Yeah, they they they, do, they walk out on their own. Yeah, Kevin Owens comes out first and he has his music. And of course, Sammy has to do like his big show. <laughs> yeah, I'm like again, why couldn't Sammy Zayn come out first and then let Kevin Owens come out with his song and be longer? But if Sammy Zayn has to, or should they do like make their own tire team theme song? <laughs> I know it's like, and. I don't know. <laughs> They're putting too much emphasis on Sami Zayn. I get it, but come on, let's move on. It's Sami Zayn. Come on. It's not like he's a big deal or something, but. Well, now he is, but. Still, but. I'm like, eh, eh. All right. So, what's, so, okay. So, they interrupted Roman Reigns' uh, promo. Yeah. And because uh, uh, he, he tells them that like, it, it, it works out because he would have to go to call him out already. He talks about like doing two things with them in the ring. Yeah. And uh, I think Sammy was the one talking about not, like not a champions, and how they're they're gonna find him. But Roman is like kind of tells him like we can we can do this now or can, like lay your towels on the ground and let me take them from you. So I don't beat them up too much. <laughs> yeah, because I, also when they came out, uh, Roman Reigns said, "You know what? I was gonna call you out anyway, so yeah. it's no big deal that you're interrupting my show or my promo or anything because I wanted you out here already." And here were they were pretty much telling him that. They were telling Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, like, you could just get out of the ring. And leave your tiles on the ground. <laughs> yeah, leave my belts on the ground. And they're like, nope. Oh, no, no. Kevin Owens just, what does he do? He just throws it everything. He was going to say something unless he. Yeah, he was going to say something. He was goes, like, oh, he goes, <laughs> oh. And then just, like you said, just throw everything in the side. <laughs> and he kind of stamps up to Roman. Yeah. But then Saul, I think, it goes in front, I think. And right before, I think Sami Zayn's going to come. Who's yeah, because that was when Roman was actually yelling at Sami Zayn and getting. Oh yeah, you're right. You're he right. was letting stuff out. Yeah. And then in the middle of that, that's when the Usos came in and beat up Kevin and Sami. 
and, and then and which is the normal thing that they do right yeah. it's just something that they jump in. the bloodline does they get jumped whoever they're fighting against or talking to gets jumped and but like another thing i want to talk about is after that uh well, when, hold on hold on don't jump too far but then roman reigns gets mad and he gets he mad, gets mad at, him. at him like why are you like, getting- i didn't tell you this. this was my plan i didn't tell you to do this yeah, but they're like, well, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we, we're uh, representing or backing up. We're all one. And, of course, Jamie goes to Roman Reigns. Like, come on. Like, give him a high five or yeah. shake, whatever. And Roman Reigns is he all mad. The hand the way. But I don't know why Roman Reigns was mad. Yeah. It's, it's, I guess because uh, he wanted to tell him some stuff. I'm like, well, they didn't tell people, but you didn't want to talk to them. So, I mean, of course, I mean, they're going to try to prove themselves and <laughs> come back. And, no, no. You hear my feelings. <laughs> but you were gonna say now, like afterwards. Uh, when uh, after Roman's all getting mad, uh, he goes he he goes out the ring. Well, he, he tries to go out the ring. He bumps into uh, Solo's shoulder, and I think that was like the, the highlight of everything. Just that shoulder bump right there, because when he bumps into Solo's shoulder, uh, Roman kind of like looks at me, kind of like calms down, and uh, Solo's like, "Did you just bump into me?" Like, like really, like kind of like mad look. Yeah, and that one threw me off in both in both directions. Why didn't Solo Sokoa say, "Hey, my bad," or "Hey, it's okay," or anything? But he why does, looks why does, like all serious. Yeah, but why does Roman Reigns have to be the one and say, "Hey, I'm sorry"? Isn't he the tribal chief? Well, is he scared of Solo Sokoa? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, what's the deal with is that? Is that his little weakness? I don't know. Or maybe that, he hey, didn't want to cause more tension between the Usos. I mean, of course, Usos there, but then also with Solo Sokoa. Because when he busts into a Solo's shoulder, he kind of takes that, like, like, like a kind of like scared deep breath. Like, Whoa. yeah. And I know it's kind of perfect because uh, I think that was an amazing thing that everyone wants to talk about was that shoulder bump. Not everything the Usos did, just that small little thing. Yeah, and that, that was, was like, a, yeah, you're right. That's a, that's a start of something else, which leads to the locker room or whatever that room they were in, right? Yeah, that, it's kind of funny because uh, Roman's all yelling at them, but I, uh, I think the Usos kind of look like, like little kids getting grounded. <laughs> <laughs> or when I yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then, uh, Solo Sokoa, right? Yeah, he was looking at Roman the whole time. But, like, Roman was kind of telling the Usos, like, why did you do this? I never told you. I wanted to say some stuff to him. He wanted to say stuff to, to Sammy. Yeah, Sammy. And, like, and the Usos just get disrupted. Uh, but, like you said, uh, Solo was looking at Roman the entire time. Yeah. But then who also noticed that Solo Sokol was looking Paul at him? Paul Heyman. The wise man. <laughs> yeah, he was like. <laughs> so there's some tension in, in, with yeah. them. And Paul Heyman knows, like, what the what's going on here? What's going on here? But yeah, he was just giving a dead stare to Roman Reigns. But then again, was he doing that because you know, like, those are his brothers, or maybe he just doesn't like his overall leadership? You know, what what was going on there? What was Solo Sokoa really thinking about? Yeah. Uh, But what caught me off guard is when uh, the Usos were going to have their match, right? Yeah. And then right before the match. Paul Heyman goes to him, and, and he says how like um, how Roman Reigns Roman's forgives. Sorry, him. he's sorry. Yeah, like he forgives him. And then Jamie goes, "Well, he's a bit tonight, then." And he's like, "Oh no, he's busy doing some stuff." <laughs> yeah, like oh, he can't like he go to the ring the, the ringside with them. Yeah. And no, he didn't. They didn't want to because the buyer goes, "Well, he's busy doing our stuff." Like, <laughs> well, they're in the match though, but they show him and he's watching the TV. Yeah, and in in the arena. Yeah. So it's not like he never went. He didn't go nowhere or something. <laughs> he wasn't he, busy. <laughs> yeah, he was watching the match on the side. I mean, and the inside. But that match, though, with the Usos, with the Ray and Santos, that was a pretty good match. I thought it was pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, it, you got to think about it. I mean, come on. Um, Ray Mysterio, yes, he's a legend. He's a Hall of Famer. But, man, he's just a little guy still, you know? Well, like, I think that was more kind of Santos getting his, his name up there, too. Yeah, you're right. It could be that. But, I mean, the Usos still were getting him. I know they were, like, Usos were trying, and Ray yeah, Mysterio they were, kept, maybe they were still doing everything. Come back. Uh, the Ray Mysterio kind of countered everything, did some moves, and then the Usos gave it their all in the match. Uh, they were thought they had it so many times. Yeah, you're right. Because they, they did those moves on them successfully and they thought they had it but no nope it didn't work out and then <clears throat> somebody comes out uh it was uh what's the name uh kevin owens kevin owens yeah because uh, he just kind of stands there and walks away right yeah he stands there 
And they're like, what is he doing here? Why is he there? In my mind, like, why are the Usos getting mad that somebody's out there? Yeah. Don't they do that to every <laughs> match they're in? Like, doesn't that happen? But it was like, what happened? But good for the goose, good for the gander, they say, <laughs> you know? So it was like, we got to the same thing. Uh, and then the Usos end up losing. Yeah, I know. And uh, that was kind of really on the spot because you thought they were going to win too. Yeah, I thought the Usos were going to win. And uh, and I matched, we thought it would have been like so many times, but in the end, they lost. And this falls into a line where I think this bloodline, storyline, is one of the greatest of all times. It's like, with, like, hate them or like them, you want to know what happens next. Like, you constantly want to run to the Raw and SmackDown to see what happens next. And that's like the great thing about the storyline, also. Yeah, you're right. Then they go back to back and forth between Raw and SmackDown. Because like, because uh, the storyline is very like more uh, and, and engaging, also. Because you, you constantly want to know what's going on with that storyline. <laughs> yeah, but but for the next thing I want to talk about before we wrap this up is that I was right again about who uh, about. Austin Theory on who he's going to match up next between, what was it, uh, Bobby Lashley and Reed? Oh, no, no. It was Bobby Lashley and Sheamus. Yeah. Remember the last match? Yeah. And we're talking about what's going to happen? Because uh, Theory was talking about Sheamus, how he beat like John Cena. Like, he was like, hey, we have a lot of things in common. Yeah. It was just crazy. And then, of course, Sheamus comes out and everything. I think he uh, bro kicks them, right? He bro kicks them. That's pretty good. But I was right. <laughs> Now, Sheamus is going to go against Austin Theory next. But I knew think, that was going to happen. Do you think Roman is kind of like uh, the, the kind of goat of this generation right now? I I think he's the most one out there right now. I mean, for a goat, I don't know. I don't know if he's there yet. I don't know if he's no, there yet. I don't know if you heard that from other t- places, but no, I don't think so. I think he's just leading right now. It's kind of like the way uh, they were pumping up. Um, remember the Shield? Yeah. Okay. And we, John Moxley, wherever he was back then. And Dean Ambrose, yeah. Dean Ambrose, yeah. And then Roman Reigns, right? Mm-hmm. And but the other guy, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. They built up Seth Rollins for a while. Remember? They did. They were like, he's the next future, and Seth Rollins is still headlining. You know, he's yeah. still doing good. So there's other wrestlers out there that are still good, still to that st- status. But to call him right now, like, legendary status, I don't think so yet. He's getting there. He's getting there. But you got to remember, you don't you don't go just by the moment. You go by all the errors that's the, the, the error, not errors, but errors of how long they've been in there. And if you look at Roman Reigns, what did he come in like in 2010 or 2002? Yeah. Or around there, like, not sure exactly when. I mean, but that's, he still has a lot to go. He's still young. You know, Randy Orton, you know, he started off young too. He's still fighting. Um, He's there already at the legendary status. Oh, yeah. But you have to go through everything. And and if he wasn't injured, he'll still be fighting. Oh, yeah. Especially with the Matt Riddle tag team. Yeah. So... And and I don't think um, Randy Orton was ready to quit prior to that. No, he Maybe wasn't. Maybe thought of thinking about, but I don't think so. He was ready. So legendary status, maybe not there yet. He's getting there, but not yet. All right. Before we wrap up, is there anything else? Um, I'm talking about a new weekly show called Collision. Oh, for AW. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's coming on Saturdays, right? Because yeah, Saturdays. I know weekend Saturdays, yeah. Morning or evening? I would, I would only assume out there new like at 7. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it could be. Well, our time, yeah, 7 o'clock. 7 central time? Yeah, in the afternoon. Afternoon or evening? Evening. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, afternoon's like 12 or 1 <laughs> or 2, but I don't know about that. But but yeah, I mean, that's, that's I mean, because they have one on Friday already, right? Yeah, Friday, Wednesday, and they have that dark show on Tuesdays, I think. So I don't know. Like, we so gotta they're, fi- they really pushed it with his fourth show. Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. You know, WWE did it. It wasn't successful. Yeah, you know? main event, like superstars. Well, main event still airs, but... It does? Really. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. All right. I Because I know they also have their live shows, too. Yeah. Which aren't televised, but they're... Yeah, they're house shows. Yeah. Yeah, in-house shows. But, yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah, because uh, they already have their dates sent out, too, for, like, uh, all the way to July 22nd, the end of the summer. 
And I think that this show can be pretty good. Um, because if you look at the poster, there's a lot of big names on the poster. So this kind of goes into like, like yeah, it's to me like more of a bigger show for like a good matches, like more good match than uh, Dynamite or Rampage like combined. Because uh, they can really push this show a lot. Well, it depends. How long is it? No, no one knows it. Because remember when uh, Superstars and Main Event, it was usually It was just, like two matches. Yeah. Or one. One to two. Yeah. And mostly it was like one. And there was a lot of commercial breaks. Yeah. And it was just it was just to get money from the sponsors. And it was just like, okay, it, it was just one match. Yeah. You know, it was like, because it would start off, it would start, and they get an introduction, some feuds, and commercial, 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 do more commercial, they're doing the ring, commercial, and it was just one match. Yeah, I mean, uh, but like, and then they weren't really successful and more, more into the future. But, uh, I mean, with this new show, I think this can be successful depending on how, on how they use it uh, to promote matches out there and to get good matches. So I, so I think this will be a pretty good show. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. It should be coming out soon. Yeah. Does it start it this it. Saturday? No, it starts uh, June seventeenth. Oh, okay. All right, mid June. So in the summer. All right, cool. So that'll be pretty good. All right. Well, we'll we'll be staying tuned and watching. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, select all notifications, so you can get all the alerts for our uh, upcoming podcast. That's it. Thank you for watching. And again, James will have the all the links for our social media in the description down below. Peace.